Well, hello everybody. I had a request to make a video on scripts using Astrophotography Tool, so I figured why not. A script is something you do to completely control your mount, and so you don't have to do anything. And I've used them in the past uh, from time to time, but I'm really going to start using them a lot more, I think, because you know I, I want to get some sleep. So what, 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 what the script can do is you can shut everything down after you're done imaging and you don't have to do it you can just check on it in the morning and so i'll do a, a quick one tonight actually i'm going to do it in a few minutes there's a threat of clear weather for tomorrow evening so i'm going to get it all set up now and uh, i can just run my imaging program tomorrow and have it do everything automatically well, howdy folks. Let me show you how to make a script then to shut down the scope when you're all done. So first off, you... Oh, by the way, I, I, it's the day after and I'll, I'll explain why as uh, I go along. And also, uh, I've, you can see I'm in the corner of my screen. I'm trying something new here and, and going all out and making videos these days. So hopefully you won't see me picking my nose or anything like that. Anyways, so you come up here to camera where it's already set. You want to edit the program. All right. So I want to shoot about two hours, 90 second exposures of the Medusa Nebula. And then I want to shut the scope down and I want to have it do it automatically. So I don't have to be out there. I can, I can be sleeping uh, for all intents and purposes. So yeah, here's my plan. But now I want to have it add the scripts. So you come over here to add new and so it it um it makes a copy of the uh that plan and then you want to make the exposure uh down to you can just make it a one or actually zero for that matter about zero and the count have the one then come down to script now here's all the scripts. This is where the, the heart of these scripts are. It can do all these things here, as you as you can see, the guide control, you can have it park the scope, which I'm gonna have it do. You can have it solve for new objects, track, untrack, uh, warm and cool the, uh, the camera. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is have it turn off auto-guiding. So we find where it says guide, guide control, have it stop, press OK, and then you want to update the plan. And you'll see, you notice that little asterisk up here? That means it's a script, okay? And everything else, it doesn't matter what, what else is uh, shown down here. Next, we're going to add another one, and it just copied that previous script. But now I'm going to change it from guide control to um, I'm going to park the scope. So I turned off guiding, and I want to park it now. It's OK. And then press update current. OK. And there's one other thing I want to do. So I press add to new. Good on the script. And I'll have it warm the camera because the camera was set to my minus 20 degrees for imaging, but now I want to warm it up and I'll just have it turn on auto, no auto when it gets to the warmest possible temperature given the night and press update. Okay, so that would be it. And uh, for, for me, that's all I really wanted it to do this for this test run. And let's check it. So here we go, does its plan. After the plan is fit, it's going to turn off the guiding. It's going to park the scope. And then it's going to warm the camera. So we should be ready to go. So there it is. Oh, you'll notice that the filter is not selected. I, I forgot to select the uh, luminosity. I, I took a luminosity. But as I said, this isn't the real plan. I, I, I've already done it. So as you'll see in my video, the follow-up video when I show you that it actually worked, um, I had to do it twice because I did some silly mistake. And that silly mistake was I didn't 
I was in here. I didn't, you know, I just went down and checked everything to make sure it was set down here in the scripts. I didn't do that the first time I did it. So what happened was I just, uh, I pressed guide control. That was fine. And I pressed guide control. I, I, I didn't, I changed it to park, but I forgot to update it and it reverted back to guide control. So I just ended up turning off the guiding twice and it never parked the scope. So then I redid it again and I just, I just made a one second exposure and, um, and had it turn off guiding and park the scope. But at that point, the camera was already warmed up. So um, what you're going to see is me turning off guiding and parking the scope. And the camera's already warmed up to its uh, temperature. Anyhow, I hope this was helpful. And I uh, hope you like my little side view here. I don't know how, how that's going to be. Or i, I got to get used to uh, being on camera all the time. Anyways, we'll see you in a few. Well, howdy, folks. I'm back. I had to redo this again because I um, this is the second time I'm shutting down. I did something wrong. Needless to say, I I changed my exposure. Anyways, I decided to shoot luminosity, and I got a couple hours of luminosity, and it's really clear tonight, but it's really cold. Like it's below 10 degrees. I think it's like nine degrees right now. Anyhow, so I I redid my exposure plan, and I've already uh, cooled the camera, or warmed the camera up uh, when when I first did it. What happened was I forgot to send the park um, the park command correctly. But anyway, so I just got it taken one exposure. It's going to turn off auto guiding, and then it's going to park the scope. So here goes. Let's see if everything works. Here it goes. Exposure finished. Exposure finished. Okay, it just stopped the Exposure auto guide. Finished. And now it's parking the scope. I'll turn it on live view so you can see the. Uh... There it goes. You can see the scope is moving. I'm actually recording my, uh, uh, my scope uh, parking because I got a uh, new security camera that um, that I can turn on and off so I'll try to download that video as well so you can It worked. The scope is now parked, and the auto guiding is shut off. And there, as I said, there was actually a command where I can have it turn off uh, uh, APT as well. Anyways, well, I hope this was helpful, and we'll see you later.